So uh, we have some stuff to talk about. Now, initially, here's the thing. I wasn't even going to make a video about this because, you know, I just didn't feel like it. But uh, a kind YouTuber, uh, Joseph968, uh, a YouTuber who subscribed to my channel, asked if I could do a video talking about Bruce Willis retiring from acting, which makes him sad, which it does to me too, but... I just got to talk about everything, how how crazy these past couple days have been with all these actors, just because, and now normally, like I said, I do not care for the Academy Awards to movies, but we discussed it with Will Smith, but there just has to be a limit on this, but, and of course, as you guys know, Will Smith, he got, of course, Will Smith, we all know what happened. He got so mad at the Oscars, he literally slapped Chris Rock across the face. Yeah, he slapped Chris Rock in the face, which all of us know that. But, but like, I just think uh, that he had some really bad mental health and that he just wasn't mentally stable. And with, But anyways, uh, the biggest news and probably the most sad to me is that Bruce Willis is retiring from acting because... This guy is one of my favorite actors of all time. He might even be in the top three. He's that good. But Bruce Willis, this guy here, John McClane, who played, who was the character, main character in Die Hard, he was in plenty of other movies. Armageddon, Die Hard, The Sixth Sense, the list goes on. Unfortunately, his daughter texted that he has a serious medical condition called an called impoprophy i think that's what it's called hold on let me look up what it is here hold on he's suffering from uh aphasia that okay that's what it was he's suffering from a condition called aphasia which it's a very serious mental condition that makes you it makes you not have the ability to talk and you lose the ability to speak and just, it's really serious. So he's retiring from acting and it's not clear if it's permanent or not yet, but if this really is, and I don't know if it's curable, I don't know if there's a cure for it or not, but really sad about it. Bruce Willis, if you ever watch this video, uh, if it's not treatable, I'd want you to know that Th I want to thank you. Thank you for giving us so many awesome movies, so many awesome best of all time movies. And just your work has mean a lot to me and even my sister and you're my sister's favorite actor. So uh, it's really sad. But if you do, uh, if if it's not treatable, like I said, fair, it's been a nice long career. And uh Thank you for giving us all the awesome movies and stuff, and it's really unfortunate what happened. But now we get into the big one. Ezra Miller, the actor who played Flash in Justice League, got arrested at a bar in Hawaii. Like, this guy is not mentally stable. Like, this isn't the first time. The first time he was arrested in 2011, and then a second time in 2020, and then a third time this year at a bar in Hawaii... At a karaoke bar, he was, uh, and basically Ezra Miller, he was wasted at a bar and he lunged at a 32-year-old man. And then, uh, and then this couple bailed him out. And this guy's a creep because let's just say he said some really bad stuff he shouldn't have said and got arrested and went to jail and stuff and just really horrible stuff. So... So what does this mean for mental actors? I think mental health needs to be taken more seriously and that it's no laughing matter. And Ezra Miller, I know they finished the movie, but they should delay it again and just get a different actor to play him. Andrew Garfield, I honestly think would be a good flash, but that's just me. And just, I think what this means for the movie industry is that we just have to take into consideration all these actors mental health and you know stuff like that and i hope all of them get better so so yeah uh that was the news for today and i hope you enjoyed it